Welcome to Tooth Brothers. You found another episode where we talk to you about teeth, dentistry, and the dental office. I'm Dr. Scott. I'm Dr. Kevin. And today we have a fun experiment for you guys. A lot of times patients come in when cavities start popping up, maybe their habits have changed. And they say, Doc, you know, why am I getting all these cavities popping up? It's due to the pH, the acidity of your mouth getting lower, getting more acidic. How does that happen? We're ingesting sugar, we're ingesting carbohydrates, the bacteria in our mouth start to produce an acid that's causing our teeth to demineralize, all right, which ultimately causes a cavity. Now, there's also other beverages, sports drinks, sodas, all sorts of stuff that are already acidic that can co that help cause that on top of the sugar that we eat and drink. Right. So we thought we would run a cool experiment where we submerge a tooth in vinegar, which is a weak acid, and see what it does to the tooth after it's been submerged. We submerge it roughly 12 weeks? Yeah, somewhere around 12 weeks. So we're gonna take you back, flash back, and we'll show you what we did. Vinegar is a weak acid. For those of you that like to geek out like me on science stuff, 5% acetic acid is what we're actually using here. We're gonna take an extracted tooth and we're gonna place it down into the vinegar. Um, don't try this at home. Don't try this at home. I don't know why you would have an extracted tooth lying around unless it's your kid's baby tooth or something like that, but uh, we're gonna get into it now. Okay, so the tooth we're using today is a really, it's a pretty healthy tooth. Beautiful specimen. Yeah, it was extracted due to orthodontic reasons, but the point is it's a very healthy tooth. So we've got our tooth, we've got our still white vinegar there, 5% acetic acid, and a really complex experiment, all right? Everybody ready? Drum roll, please. Back to the future. Here we are with our tooth. It's been in our vinegar for about 12 weeks. Uh, if you want to zoom in on that, Dr. Scott, you can see our tooth. It has turned a little bit of a green blue shade. Yeah, why is that, Dr. Kevin? Why'd you ask? <laughs> uh, that's mainly because of the solution it was stored in uh, for sanitary purposes. Without making anybody wait any longer, let's go ahead and pop this top and let's see what's inside. It's soft, it's kind of spongy. Look at it. Oh, you ever seen a tooth bend my before? Oh goodness, I'm so glad I'm not seeing that in the mouth. Yeah, Ooh. if your tooth is bending, it's lost a lot of its calcium. So essentially what happens, the tooth is made up of a lot of calcium and protein. And so there's almost, I mean, there's very little calcium left in that to the point to where I can actually bend that thing. Let's see if you can break it like in half. Right. You want oh, no, put it on. It? Yeah, no, put it put it on the tray here. All right. Oh my goodness. Wow. That's not because I'm strong. I promise. <laughs> that is incredible. So there you go. That's what acid does to the teeth. And this is your tooth on acid. Oh man. So we want to minimize the time that you've got acid and especially the contains sugar in your mouth. So if you're going to drink your sodas, drink your energy drinks or sports drinks or wine or fruit drinks, whatever it is, make it in a short amount of time, rinse your mouth out with water afterwards, wait 30 minutes for brushing. Uh, you don't want to brush your tooth away. Hopefully this has given people some, some insight into what happens with acid. Uh, on teeth. That's your tooth on acid. 